Hey guys, this is Bear Gaming and welcome back to our channel. Happy holidays everyone! So it's currently December 22 and it's just a few days more before Christmas. And everyone is so busy, I'm sure. A lot of reunions, probably parties in your companies. <laughs> Or maybe your friends and stuff and I myself is kind of busy today because I'm cooking and preparing stuff but since the update just finished a few minutes ago I really have to stop cooking and I just finished patching the notes or update the game because I'm so excited and you know bloody phantom is officially here in Exos Heroes so we will need to check him out and I'm also curious about his skills because uh, yesterday from the patch notes his skill set wasn't included so I'm kind of curious and also my guildmates so here we are now Choosing you is our pride. Oh, he's floating. Dark red silhouette. I'll show you. Composure. <laughs> That's so amazing. So here he is, dark red silhouette, bloody phantom. Born from a silent dark alley, he was taken in a mute. Oh, he was taken in by a mute and raised by a faceless one. <clears throat> oh, sorry. <laughs> from the moment he could start remembering, he faced different egos on a daily basis. The different egos became constant, and they soon became himself. Always looking back to the old proverb, the mask that is faced every day is a mirror. Each ego within him even shared the guilt whenever someone was struck down by his flame. They protected each other for the greater mission. A fundamental mission of observing the dragons. But it's more like a shadow rooted deeper than any other words that could be easily that could be easily be shattered. They shall stand on top of the shadows. Oh. And did you see his skill animation? That was really nice. And of course, I'm going to take a screenshot because this image here, this happens only once. So I just want to collect screenshots and stuff. That's why he stopped. Here he is, Winter Wind Package released. Of course, we're going to check him out right away. And you can see. There's this I'll new Corrid Secret Invasion Extend. And I'm not going to tap this now. Because this will trigger a scene. Also, Red Threads of Fate Episode Piloting an airship. Uh, 3 in is already released. And I'm planning to do that probably tomorrow. Or maybe this evening if I'm not too busy. But for now, we are going to check out Bloody Phantom. So let's go back to the airship. Oh, you can see event 11 times for free but first we are going to check out the air squadron so you can see here the withdraw button is on the right side now so i'm sure if you're going to do the premium donation and also air squadron donation you won't accidentally press the withdraw button hopefully this will not cause any problem <laughs> so now we are going to do the hero recruit. Oh wait, first we are going to check him out. <laughs> so, since he's new and maybe most of us doesn't have him yet, we are going to check him here in the journal. As the lamp flickers, the shadow grows He has this very long sleeve. Bloody Phantom. So first, let's check out his skill set. Trace of Strength. 
grants stealth to self for 4 turns at the start of own turn and increases own dodge by 35% during stealth. Purge. Purges 2 buffs from the, from the target if the target being attacked from stealth has any buffs. Wait, purges 2 buffs from the target if the target being attacked from stealth. Ah, so if Bloody Ban Phantom is in stealth mode and he's going to attack the target while being in stealth mode, he'll be able to purge 2 buffs. Shadow of the East increases attack defense and max HP of heroes under Brood. If nationalism is in effect, increases 5% instead. So this nationalism passive is from Dorka. And you know guys, uh, Bloody Phantom is the second general of Brood. So if Dorka and Bloody Phantom are together in one team, so you can get this Shadow of the East increase of 5% only instead of 10. But if Dorka is not present in your team and Bloody Phantom is, therefore, attack defense and max HP of the heroes under Brood will be able to get that 10%. And again, if both of them are together, all in all, it will be just 15%. So, the first skill is Rampant Evil. Deal 63% damage to all enemies and 45% chance to afflict target with decreased heat by 11% for 7 turns and 45% chance to afflict target with nullify buff for 4 turns so he has the buff so therefore we need to increase his effect hit by 100% and his second skill is divine dance deals 525% damage to one enemy and grant stealth to all allies in the same row as self besides self for 6 turns. Oh, he can grant stealth to all allies. That's really, that's really nice. So his first skill is AOE or Area of Effect Damage. While his second skill is Single Target. So let's check him out further. So he's wearing this red mask. He has this jacket like attire and he has this very very long sleeves. It seems that he's armored, really armored. Everything is closed up except for his mouth you can see and his head. And for the appearance effect. Choosing you is our pride. Oh we can see a glimpse of his eye. Dorka Servant, Bloody Phantom. Oh, so that's his title, Dorka Servant. Illustration, okay. Mm, this is really nice. <laughs> Skill preview, so you can see here he's floating. Oh, it seems like He's like Kyla, disappears and appears just right in front of the enemy and attacks. <laughs> then, first kill. The world will become lonelier by the speed of the sunset. <laughs> wow, it's nice. And the second skill. <laughs> I'll show you. Composer. Wow, well, that really looks nice. <laughs> I really like it. Blue and red effects. Hmm. The hero story. Okay, we just read this earlier. Bloody Phantom, Sex Male, Nation Brood, Fated, Darkness. His age is unknown. Probably he's like 300 years old but doesn't age. <laughs> well, let's just say maybe. Race is human, position chaos, so another chaos type hero. So for Brune, all of the damage dealers are actually chaos type heroes. Dorka, Kylock, and Bloody Phantom. His birthday is on October 3rd. So now, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> I think I have a sore throat again, so and sometimes 
I feel kind of itches. And also remember guys, if you're expecting the get the red event to start today, it's actually not. It's tomorrow. But for Red Threads of Fate or Ivan Red Threads of Fate and the inv Secret Invasion Core Raid, it will start today. Actually, when I log in this morning before the scheduled maintenance, I already saw the get the uh, I mean Red Threads of Fate. <laughs> uh, there we go again, mixing up with Get the Red and Red Threads of Fate. So anyway, Ivan's Red Threads of Fate was released early this morning before the scheduled maintenance and. I was supposed to do it, but since I logged into the game about 7.30, it's like 30 minutes before 8. And here in Philippines, it wasn't 10, 10 a.m. when the scheduled maintenance started. It was 8 a.m. So I just thought that maybe I cannot do the video within 30 minutes. So I'll just skip it and I'll, I'll probably do this tomorrow and I haven't done my dailies yet because of that so now we are going to the hero recruit and first we are going to try our luck with our free pool today A faded version of me. Emma, second queen of Saint West. The only thing. Free your. Okay, that's all for the free pool. Now we're here. Bloody Phantom's banner. Over here, the rate information you can see is somewhere down below. Oh. There we go, bloody phantom. There will be a 0.5% increased chance. Okay, let's try our luck. none so let's proceed just until we get him a new companion has arrived Have 
it was. Free your. Okay. The fifth pool was always sometimes it A takes time. So it's always good if you have enough cess so that you won't regret it if you're going to just finish halfway without getting the hero. So with enough cess, even if you go PD or even if you reach 28 over uh, yeah, that's 28 over 28. So at least, for sure, you're going to get it. And also, while we're pulling, I just want to share with you guys that uh, I'm also streaming Final Fantasy VII Remake in hard mode. So if you're interested, you can just watch. And it's a no commentary stream, which means you're not speaking or talking because. I don't know, when it comes to those things, I prefer that it was a good... you'll be able to hear um, the entire scenes, the dialogues, without me disturbing it. <laughs> so I prefer not talking. Come and fight. Unlike here, in Exos Heroes, um, I have a lot to say. <laughs> That's why. But for... The streaming session when it comes to console games, I prefer not to play. I won't. And I really want to get Bloody Phantom since I'm, well, I already mentioned you a couple of times already that I'm using the Blue Nation. So I really need another damage Gross. dealer. So hopefully he is one. So this is our 8th pull. Also, I'm planning to pull for our latest artifact, which is double-sided persona of Elver. Because um, he's a, it's a good artifact, especially for, for supporters. I think... Don't over. Okay. Eighth pool, still nothing. <laughs> Let's just continue. A new companion has arrived. Victory. <laughs> A new companion has arrived. Hooray! 
end, you can see sometimes the pulls are really that bad because you cannot see any um, regular faded hero that a showed up. It's only uh, rare grade heroes, probably some common and magical ones, and most are legendary. But when it comes to faded, I haven't the seen one. Still... So it's the 13th. It's like halfway through. A new companion has arrived. Phil. Okay, we're officially halfway. <laughs> I'm pretty sure by the end of our pooling session, I'll be able to scout, do scouting, and probably disassemble some. Victory! <laughs> Not even a single fate. A new companion has arrived. Well, you know, that's how RNG works when it comes to hero collecting games. It's just like that. So the best way you can do in order for you not to get Come disappointed or feel sad yeah! is to save enough. other game that I've played. It's also a mobile game and there's this hero banner over there but currently I really want to get that specific hero and it so happens that I only collected just a few of its currency so I end up not getting the hero. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get although the banner is still there. It's just for two days Have more only, so I guess by Saturday, or is it? I guess, I guess it's on Friday that his banner will be ending. So that's what I get when I'm not that was saving a great enough. Also, it's kind of weird because you can see there are no faded heroes showing up and not even a single fate board. So I'm not sure if, you know, because there's this two instances before. It happened like two years ago wherein they released this banner and then uh, when everyone pulled, no one, I mean, no one get anything. No one got Your anything. courage was admirable. Not until during the 28 over 28 pulls or in other terms pity. And later on, uh, they sent out a note saying that now that I think the 0.5% uh, wasn't applied to the battle. So everyone got a refund, including me. So although I don't think it's going to happen <laughs> again because you know that will really ruin the game but anyway it seems like it's the same feeling like you keep on pulling a new and you cannot see any fate even in black fate for showing up so you know, sometimes i get to think maybe there's a bug again <laughs> it seems but you can see your uh, you can see it right here, right? I've been pulling. It's um, my 20th pull, and you cannot see any faded hero or even a, a faded uh, fate board. The world is. 
Okay, I'm sure I'm in the right banner. <laughs> this is Buddy Phantom, right? Yes, this is him. <laughs> Yes, I feel it. You, you're still... I am writing history as we speak. This is a blue fate core of Garth. Finally, there's something. <laughs> okay. Screenshot taken. And then we continue. Six more pulls left before we reach the PT. Isn't it the human heart that decides Ooh, what is Kyla. good or evil? Power for all. That is what spells are for. I think I was able to fusion five Kyla already. Is that might be wondering why I always take screenshot. Well, it's my thing. <laughs> I just love to collect those images. A new okay, four, more, four more pulls, then we are able to get him. Was I open? My life, my master is kind to anyone. Okay. I guess it's it's okay. It's worth it. I guess. For <laughs> me, sure. Therefore, it's totally worth it. Everything in God's plan. I think that's my fifth copy. You want me to teach you? <laughs> How much? 
two black faith cores in one pool. So that's okay. Okay, two more pulls. A new companion has arrived. I will never lose. I'll show you the power. Wonderful. Oh, there we go. Okay, screenshot, and then let's go out. Is it here? Okay, we received Lawrence Box, and here is Bloody Fun. Choosing you is our pride. Finally. Okay. We got him on the Do not make a sound. Well, that's not my first. Speak I by already experienced a lot of times wherein I need to pity for a hero or for a specific fate core. So, lesson learned. We need to save up our cess. Okay, we got some random fated. Do you need oh, the power? Who's this? Okay. Shifraken. I'll show you my strength. Hmm. Do you need strength? Shifraken. Maybe I finished his eternal bond, that's why. Show me how you. Hey! Chaggy. We got Shufraken, and I think this is from the Eternal Bond. It's not something random. Let me just check. Ah yes, this is the 25th Eternal Bond, and it's already completed. That's why I was able to get Shufraken's copy. And as you know, or if you've been watching my videos. I just get my copies of Shifraken from Eternal Bond. I don't get him randomly, I don't know, maybe he doesn't like me. <laughs> and that also goes for Genai. I don't get Genai just randomly. I need to get them to Eternal Bond. I am so, the king's guard. You can see you won't there are me, 704 sir. heroes out of my 415 slots. So therefore, I have a lot of heroes here. Extra copies of heroes for me to do scouting. So there's our copy of Garth, also of Shifraken. Now where is Bloody Phantom? You know, at first I thought his name is Tokaibi. Oh, you can see Athlon over there. I'm not using Athlon at the moment. Oh, here he is. As the lamp I thought flickers, I first his name is Nokaibi and Bloody larger. Phantom is his title, but it seems it's not. Bloody Phantom is really his name? That's four syllables. So he's here, officially. He's mine, and therefore, I'm going to use him soon. I'm just going to get good gears for him, you know. Do not make a sound. My usual three Speak over four ruling when it comes to gears. Because it's kinda difficult for me to get perfect gears, like four out of four good uh, substats. 
So whenever I see gears with 3 over 4, that's 3 good substats out of 4, therefore it's already good. And when it comes to artifacts, I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. Probably this one. Chance to afflict a random debuff since I have a lot. I can promote this to 5 already, just for now. Since currently, these two orange fate core here, I mean, here we go again, mixing up. Orange artifacts, I mean, one uh, Dorka is using, and the other one is Rera. And some of here, there's Jean. So probably I'm going, just going to equip the purple artifact for him. So there we go. We got Bloody Phantom, and I can't wait to put him in my Brun team. So that will be all guys for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them for you. And um, I also uploaded, currently I uploaded two videos of Final Fantasy VII Remake. If you're interested, please watch them. And I'll try my best to upload each chapter every day. And I'm making those videos by chapter. Uh, just to make it short and just not to bore you guys <laughs> so please do subscribe to my twitch channel and also for my youtube channel as well where you can see all of my other exos heroes content and other games as well and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do so so that i will keep you updated with the latest exos heroes news um, gameplay and for the other games that i play and for the Red Threads of Fate, uh, or Ivan Red Threads of Fate, I'll be doing that probably tomorrow. So, I'll be seeing you guys. Have a nice day.